So how'd you use this week off uh, to kind of prepare for this trip? Uh, we got them, um, you know, a couple days off after Grand Canyon. That felt good on their bodies, and they came back fresh, ready to go on Friday for practice. So um, Friday, Saturday, we did some inner squad against, um, you know, trying to get our hitters some live at-bats and just keep them fresh, and they're ready to roll into this Pac-12 tournament. What did you guys learn from this event last year? Uh, you know, we, as a coaching group, we've wanted to do it just because of the way that other, you know, conference tournaments felt going into the postseason. So, um, you know, we wanted the competition, we wanted the, um, you know, kind of that trial run of what the postseason feels like, um, and also just get your team on a roll. So I think um, that was always the goal. And, you know, we, we went into a three-game series when we were watching conference tournaments. So um, just the electric atmosphere all of it felt like the postseason here at Rita last year and um, just hoping that continues into this year. Do you, do you feel the team's ready emotionally mentally to, for this event? Oh absolutely I mean we've been building towards this all year long and you know I truly have felt that this team's gotten better every week that we step out onto the field to practice so I'm um, just excited for them to make their mark. It's about Washington. Um, you know, yeah, I, I like, you know, whoever we face in the tournament, I like our team um, when they know more about an opponent. Um, I think we've kind of gotten better throughout a three-game series. Um, so for us, it's just taking what we already know and establishing that in the first inning. This is obviously single elimination. So is the approach different than a double elimination situation? Well, I think we're going to have to manage our pitching accordingly and, you know, just come out hot in every game. I think that's when we've had our best games throughout the entire year is when we set the tone early and often. What was the ultimate benefit of having that time off with rushed bodies and then also being able to watch other teams uh, play? You know, I think for our pitching staff, it did a whole lot because I think they needed some time off their legs and some time off their arms and just to take a couple days fully off and not have bullpens and then step into it crisp. I think it did wonders for our team, but I think our pitching staff specifically. So um, just ready for them to come out fresh. And I know they were all sitting there watching and hanging on uh, every game and just seeing who we were going to play. But they're all just softball fans, too. So they kind of watch everything throughout the country and, and just love it. Um, so the, the middle of the order mm -hmm. is looking at numbers, and they're all a little bit down this year. What do you think is the difference between for like Scoop and Skaggs and Blaze mm -hmm. and Liv? Um, well, you know, if you look at our strength of schedule, too, we've played a way tougher strength of schedule. It set us up really nicely in the postseason as far as our RPI goes, our adjusted RPI goes. Um, I think we're sitting at 15, 16 in the RPI, or I'm sorry, in the strength of schedule right now. So, you know, anytime you play tougher competition, that tends to happen. And at the same time, we've had people just absolutely crush it and step up this year. And, you know, this game is tough. <laughs> and you go four years, and for people to be consistent, it says a whole lot about them. And, you know, it's kind of crazy because you talk about certain people in the lineup and then you look at their numbers and they're still insane and rock solid and, um, you know, and just happy with the way they've shown up every single day. When you played Washington during the regular season, coming to play them now, what have you gained in that and what have you learned about them? Well, we played them at the beginning of conference, and I think the biggest thing is that we've been able to grow as a team every week throughout the conference. I thought... I thought Stanford was really, that weekend was kind of a turning point for us as far as finding ourselves and our true identity, and I think we've gotten better since then. So just really being able to take what we learn and take it into that into that game and um, just being able to execute. That's what it comes down to at the end of the day is, you know, everybody has all the information on each other, and now it's just executing in the moment. Going back to Sunday at UCLA, what was the most disappointing thing about not being able to hold that big lead? Um, you know, I think everyone was disappointed with not coming out of a win with that. But also, there were so many great things that came out of that weekend that I can't even say. Just, you know, the way our team stepped into that hostile environment to, you know, one of the biggest rivalries ever and just, man, went at them like I haven't seen in a while. So there were a lot of great things to take away, and we didn't execute, you know, a lot of it came with two outs, and that's, you know, the big innings are preventable in that way. So um, I think that's the biggest thing. What can you say, I guess, about the discussion that you guys had in the dugout about whether to let Aisa pitch to, to Charlize in that situation there? She's a dog, man. Aisa's a dog. <laughs> and she came into the one of the exact same moments against Grand Canyon with the bases loaded and their biggest hitter up. And she struck her out. So, you know, I think it's a tough decision. But at the end of the day, like, I trust her with the ball in any given moment. Um, and she's just proven to kind of rise to the occasion in those moments. So, um, you know, she's going to get the ball again in different scenarios. And 
you know, I just, I trust each of them with the ball in, in very specific times of the year. When you think about this year, I mean, the last couple of years, it's been like, are we getting in? This yeah. year, you know you're in, you know, it's are we hosting. What's the difference? I mean, because it's been a long time since you've had to worry about getting in. So being back there, what's that mean? Well, this team has standards. I mean, I think that's the biggest thing. And they're trying to meet their own standards as far as, you know, they're not comparing themselves to anybody else. They're trying to get better every single day. And I respect that so much about their work ethic and their performance because nobody's watching them on a Tuesday. <laughs> nobody's out here. It's 100 degrees and they're doing the same drills that they've been doing for months on end. And, you know, yesterday, Zadie, who hasn't seen a start all year long, was the best at all of the drills. You know, like we just have a team like that. And I think that speaks to their character and just the standards that they hold themselves to. How proud of you uh, are, are you of Allie winning the Ruby Award? Oh, just, I mean, you can't say enough about Allie and really not just this year, but what she's done for her entire career. And, you know, Allie's legacy is way more than just the four years she's had here. She's, you know, been able to make an impact on young kids that's going to last for a very long time. So I think um, just proud of her as a player, but I'm more proud of her as a person and what she's meant to this community. In this last uh, week, was there any worry at all about the momentum? Uh, there's been any loss of momentum just with, with not practicing? Uh, no, <laughs> no. I think when you're in the grind, you're you're wanting those those days off your body. I think you know, two days off kind of went by really fast, and then hopping in Friday, they just felt crisp. It was funny. They started throwing, and they're like, "Whoa, that like." felt better, felt different, felt lighter, um, didn't feel as heavy on their legs. So I think it was refreshing for everyone involved. Thank you. Thank you, Thank guys. You. Have a good day.